I would now like to introduce our graduate delegate, Remy DeCosmaker. Remy is graduating with an MS in Professional Studies with concentrations in Communications and Media Technology and Public Policy. Remy was the Rochester organizer for the 2013 NASA Space Apps Challenge, an international event and competition spanning 50 cities. He is a passionate supporter of open source software and the founder and present president of civics.us, an open source public data system. Please wel join me in welcoming to the podium Remy DeCosmaker. Thank you, everyone, for being here. This speech is entitled, A Tribute to Fair Use. Unless, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. It is not ours by inheritance. It must be fought for and defended constantly by each generation. Freedom is the right to question and change the established way of doing things. It is the continuous revolution of the marketplace. It is understanding that allows us to recognize shortcomings and seek solutions. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And that glow and that fire can truly light the world. He who lights his candle at mine receives light without darkening me, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds. You and I, graduates, have a rendezvous with destiny. We will preserve for our children this, the last best hope for man on earth, or we will sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. There's a battle going on right now a battle to define everything that happens on the internet in terms of traditional things that the law understands. New technology, instead of bringing us greater freedom, would have snuffed out fundamental rights we had always taken for granted. With malice towards none, with charity for all, let us strive to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace amongst ourselves and with all nations. Information is power. But like all power, there are those who want to keep it for themselves. The world's entire scientific and cultural heritage, published over centuries in books and in journals, is increasingly being digitized and locked up. You can't share it, because your best way of making money from it is to own it and to keep it from other people. That might be okay for real estate, but is it okay for knowledge? That might be okay for diamonds, but is it okay for culture? That might be all right when it means that the poor don't have a Lexus, but is it all right when it means that the poor don't have physics? No man can put a chain about the ankle of his fellow man without at last finding the other end fastened about his own neck. For it is the common good and not private gain that makes cities great. Do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Things like freedom and the expansion of knowledge are beyond success, beyond the personal. Personal success is not wrong, but it is limited in importance. And once you have enough of it, it is a shame to keep striving for that, instead of striving for truth, for beauty, or for justice. Think deeply about things. Don't just go along because that's the way things are, or that's what your friends say. Consider the effects. Consider the alternatives. But most importantly, just think. 
Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, or praiseworthy, think about such things. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Once you change your philosophy, you change your thought pattern. Once you change your thought pattern, you change your attitude. Once you change your attitude, it changes your behavior pattern. And then you go on into some action. Action is the antidote to apathy and cynicism and despair. You will inevitably make mistakes. Learn what you can and move on. At the end of your days, you will not be judged by you will not be judged by your stumble. You will be judged by your gallop. It's all part of the process of exploration and discovery. It's all part of taking a chance and expanding man's horizons. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. Never, 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 in nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in, except to convictions of honor and good sense. We have the power to decide the fate of our planet and of ourselves. This is a time of great danger, but our species is young and curious and above all, brave. It ought to be remembered that there is nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, or more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. Whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart. May the force be with you. Thank you, Jeremy. We appreciate your words. Uh, it sounds like you have a few Trekkie fans in the audience. 